And that's what I prepared for you regarding expectancy theory. Now our next item in our agenda, trait and behavior models of leadership. Leading is such an important process in all organizations, like nonprofit organizations, government agencies and schools, as well as for-profit corporations, that it has been researched for decades. Early approaches to leadership, collect the trait model and the behavior model, thought to determine what effective leaders are like as people and what they do that makes them so effective. The trait model of leadership focuses on identifying the personal characteristics that cause effective leadership. Researchers thought effective leaders must have certain personal qualities that set them apart from ineffective leaders and from people who never become leaders. Decades of research and hundreds of studies indicate that certain personal characteristics do appear to be associated with effective leadership. Although this model is called the treat model, some of the personal characteristics that it identifies are not personality traits per se, but rather are concerned with a leader's skills, ability, knowledge, and expertise. Traits alone are not the key to understanding leader effectiveness, however. Some effective leaders do not possess all these traits, and some leaders who possess them or are not effective in their leadership roles. This lack of consistent relationship between leader traits and leader effectiveness led researchers to shift their attention away from traits and to search for new explanations for ex effective leadership. Rather than focusing on what the leaders are like, researchers began looking at what effective leaders actually do. In other words, at the behaviors that allow effective leaders to influence their subordinates to achieve group and organizational goals. Now, regarding the behavior model, researchers at the Ohio State University identified two basic kinds of leader behaviors that many leaders in the United States, Germany, and other countries engage in to influence their subordinates. These are consideration and initiating structure. Everything sounds good so far, Carlos. But, could you tell me a little bit more about consideration? Leaders engage in consideration when they show their subordinates that they trust, respect, and care about them. Managers who truly look out for the well-being of their subordinates and do what they can to help subordinates feel good and enjoy their work perform consideration behaviors. Interesting. And what about initiating structure? Leaders engage in initiating structure when they take steps to make sure that work gets done, subordinates perform their job acceptably, and the organization is as efficient and effective. Assigning tasks to individuals or work groups, letting subordinates know that what is expected of them, deciding how work should be done, making schedules, encouraging adherence to rules and regulations, and motivating subordinates to do a good job are all examples of initiating a structure. Is there any relationship between these two behavior models? Initiating a structure and consideration are independent leader behaviors. Leaders can be high on both, low on both, or high on one and low on the other. Many effective leaders engage in both of these behaviors. You might expect that effective leaders and managers will perform both kinds of behaviors, but research has found that this is not necessarily the case. The relationship between performance of consideration and initiating structure behaviors and leader effectiveness is not clear-cut. Some leaders are effective even when they do not perform consideration or initiating structure behaviors, and some leaders are ineffective even when they perform both kinds of behaviors. Like the trade model of leadership, the behavior model alone cannot explain leader effectiveness. Realizing this, researchers began building more complicated models of leadership, 
focuses not only on the leader and what he or she does, but also on the situation or context in which leadership occurs. Did I answer all your questions? Great presentation, Carlos. I hope you could prepare the next one with the same level of detail. We all count on you. Carlos, your presentation went great. I think you impressed the big bosses. Keep going with all that energy. Thank you very much, Sabrina. I hope you can give me some tips for next time. Uh,